I think we're good. Excellent. Sounds good. All right. So at this point, with having kind of kind of you know um, walk through the foundational aspects for Teams Voice, and you know, again, you know what that means in terms of connectivity options available, and further, you know the the uh, uh, critical considerations for dynamic calling as well, independent of which option you choose. Uh, we're next going to briefly talk through some of the other aspects to consider as we think about these voice application or advanced voice application scenarios. Um, we find most customers also have to carry forward within Teams as well. And to kind of summarize that at a high level, as part of the core enablement of voice within Teams, there are two core services that you also have available um, based on the uh, licensing options that are procured and then further how those licenses are enabled. Those two services, um, include auto attendant, which basically is a voice service type application where you could associate an outside number two. Um, basically, uh, persons via the PSTN would call that number. They would hear like an opening greeting. Um, you can use a WAV file. You can use text to speech. And then once that greeting, that greeting has been played, you can present a menu of options to be selected from to route that call accordingly. Second to that, there's also um, another option available um, um, that can uh, also give you kind of a hunt group or a core um, call response queue uh, type capability um, through call queues directly through Teams instead. And so the difference in the call queue scenario is beyond just having an opening greeting, um, you know, again, where people can dial into directly from the PSTN, or say in the case that it's um, you know someone routed um, an initial call from instead, the difference there with call queue is that you can still have an opening greeting. Again, that greeting can be recorded, can be text to speech, but then once that greeting has been played, you can choose to transfer the call, or you can have that call routed to a grouping of agents that are signed into that queue respectively instead. And the great thing there is that. Um, is that um, you know, you've know you also got further options available in terms of agent availability with how you would like those calls to be processed. So as we think about um, routing in terms of serial, uh, first available, you can further pivot that routing based on present status of the agent instead. And then you've got additional flexibility where you can nest these two applications um, independently. So I could have a call queue tied to another call queue or I can mix and match nesting the, the two applications together instead. So think of it as an example, um, defining an auto tenant that based on the menu option selection, you know, like press one for sales, I could then have that transfer to the call queue that I've got um, defined as supporting. For, for those two scenarios, a couple key requirements to note is that um, in order to establish external PSTN connectivity, again, for uh, um, users on the outside to um, have direct reachability into. Um, that will re require creation of what we would call a resource account. Um, this is an, a, an object type within Azure that is disabled, but it serves as the, um, the object reference where we associate the DID to. So that's how we um, correlate when someone dials that number it's tied to that resource account, and then based on where that resource account is signed, whether it's an auto attendant or a call key, that's how all the components get brought together um, to route that call accordingly. Second to that, just like end users need a license for Teams Voice, um, resource accounts need a special um, type of license as well. And again, it's, it's to, allow, to allow that external routing from the PSTN aspect to the internal. Um, either a call key or auto tenant service instead. And, and that license in this case is referred to as phone system virtual user. There is a pre-allocation that you uh, are provided upfront as part of your initial uh, ESKU e or uh, um, standalone phone system procurement. But then if there are additional license required based on if there's a large number of those services you need to uh, deploy instead, there are also uh, flexible options available for uh, procuring additional licensing if needed. And then last but not least, 
because this is kind of a unique scenario as we think about voice within teams where instead of from a user perspective we kind of see those number types as what we refer to as subscribers so it's a dedicated number um, that is assigned to the user in the case of call queue and auto attendant instead this will uh, require a different type of number more referenced as a service-based number um, required and then equally that service number just like from an end user perspective could be supported through calling plan can be supported through operator connect or it could be supported through direct routing as well and then lastly from an agent perspective and this really applies to the call um, call queue uh, scenario specifically in order um, for those agents to be able to transfer calls just know that there are some um, licensing and endpoint requirements that will have to be accounted for as well and then the final thing to know for call queues specifically is we've also um, recently made available um, where you can actually integrate that call queue experience meeting your agents where they are today in teams where they can directly interact um, uh, uh, placing receiving phone calls seeing the overall call history accessing uh, maybe shared voicemail that's tied to the call queue or uh, being able to directly sign in and sign out from the call queue instead so that the great thing here is um, unlike what we normally see in typical voice deployments where we may have a different client or a different application providing that call queue experience um, the great thing is you've now got a, a native option available where we can summarize all this capability going forward uh, you know directly through through teams